Well, Britain wants U.S. banks to bring down the salaries of their top money makers and take responsibility for their actions. That's according to one British news website called The Independent. All of this in response to public outrage over last year's recession. Earlier today, I spoke with Cenk Uger, who is a radio host for The Young Turks. Here's what he had to say. It, we're going about this all the wrong way. Uh, we keep politely asking the bankers, will you pretty please do the right thing? And of course they're not going to. They're going to be furious because it's tens of millions of dollars out of their pockets if they, uh, the American banks go ahead and do that. And they don't want to give up that money. I, I guess in some ways I don't blame them. Uh, it's natural capitalism slash greed. Um, and there's a structured way to do capitalism that makes all the sense in the world. But what we need to do is, as the governments of the United States, Britain, France, et cetera, we need to lay down the law. And so it's not voluntary. So it's not uh, people asking the bankers, oh, can you please do this? We need to let them know what they can and cannot do. It depends on which Americans you ask. If you ask the richest Americans, i.e. these bankers, yeah, they don't like to go back going business, doing their business that way because they might not be able to afford their second private jet. If you ask the rest of us who finance their private jets and their mansions and their yachts, we would love for a referee, a regulator, to step in and say, you cannot do these risky derivatives trades as an example if it's going to crash the economy. Uh, the whole problem is the incentive structure is wrong. If they do the risky trades, then they make huge bonuses in the short run. And in the long run, if it crashes, it's on us. And we have to pay the bill. That's totally unacceptable. We have to stop asking the bankers politely. We have to simply regulate them.